Hi everyone, Sebastian Viteri here from Hill and Viteri Property with our latest weekly market snapshot. Now this week I thought I would touch on Easter and how that impacts the property market. So, um, if you've seen in the media lately um, reference to Super Saturday, um, this means that there'll be a large volume of auctions uh, this coming Saturday as sellers typically want to avoid ending their campaigns on the Easter long weekend. Now, what this does uh, in practice in the market is it creates extra competition, um, or extra choice, I should say, for buyers uh, on that day, which actually can work out in their, in their advantage as the demand is spread over the supply of auctions that are available on that day. Now, what we see typically after Easter is there is an increase of supply in the form of new stock or new listings. So typically we'll see a wave of new properties come on um, after the long weekend. Now, I thought I'd also touch on uh, the absorption rate at the moment. So what we are seeing is that the volume of listings to market has been two to three times the normal amount in recent months. We've commented on this in previous uh, snapshots. But what I can tell you is the, the volume of transactions is keeping pace with it. So we call that the absorption rate. Now, I've said previously that this won't last forever, but presently it is a bull seller's market, uh, particularly in the housing sector. The apartment market's not as buoyant, uh, but still swinging on the seller side of things. Uh, but what we will start to see is that absorption rate will start to, to slow, uh, and the wind will come out of the proverbial sales over time. But for now, the trajectory is north and really a seller's market. Thanks for taking the time to watch our weekly market snapshot, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.